Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com. I'm here to give a quick overview on how to play our number crunch multiplication game. If you're not familiar with MathNook, we have uh, plenty of math and fun games as well as teaching tools to use and play. Uh, they're all free, no membership or sign up required. Also, if uh, this game's is on MathNook and available to play for free. But if you'd like to uh, put this on your website, you can go to gamedistribution.com and download that and put it on your uh, website. Okay, when you first start the game, this is the main menu which you'll, uh, that you'll see. And uh, if you click the More Games button, this will take you to our website, mathnook.com. The video will take you to this video in case you want to um, like to see that again. And the question mark We'll take you to instructions and click this button back, go back to the main menu. I'm not going to go over that since we'll be reviewing the game. Um, so you've got three levels. You can choose to play beginner, which is uh, a little bit easier problems than advanced and expert. And there's also no time limit on the beginner version. The advanced version has a little bit uh, harder problems and a time limit. An expert has a little bit harder problems than advanced and a little bit less time. So let's go ahead and take a look at the beginner level. And if you're not familiar with match three games, this is like uh, uh, Candy Crush, um, where you try to make three or more matches, three or more of the same colored candies in a row, either vertically or horizontally. And when you make a match over the, uh, say, these squares, then these dark squares go away. And the object of uh, the game is to clear, or the, I should say each level is to clear the level of all the dark backgrounds. And I'll show you how that plays in just a minute. The, uh, you have five levels, I'm sorry, five lives per level. Here's your score, and this tells you what level you're on. This button will turn the sound on and off. You can't hear the sound um, in this video, but what you hear when you play is if you make an error, you get a buzzer, and when you get one, um, uh, make a correct answer, you will get here a nice sound. So um, let's go ahead and play it a little bit. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is try to clear out these three uh, dark squares there. And the way I do that is I will crush this candy by determining if this problem is true or false and answering correctly. So, and when I do that, this will drop down, I'll make a match, and then these, these uh, three backgrounds will go away. So 2 times 2 is not equal to 5, so I need to be sure false is highlighted. So now I'm saying 2 times 2 does not equal 5, that's a false statement. So let's go ahead and click it. You saw the three candies drop down and you saw the backgrounds disappear. Now, if you uh, let's go ahead, and I'll show you something else here. I'll show you. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these because I'm going to get this uh, yellow heart down there, and I'll get rid of these four because we've got a match of three or more at the same time. Uh, five times two is ten. Let's go ahead and click true. And uh, when you play, that's one thing that you've got to kind of take your time about because it's really easy to forget what what these uh, what you have selected. And I got a match there, a couple of bonus matches. And then I'll go 3 times 4 is 12. That's true. True is highlighted. And those went away. So you can see how you would uh, got some bonus matches up there. You can see how you can clear it, uh, how to clear the levels out. And let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and make a mistake here. 3 times 1 is equals 3, but it says 0. I'm going to say that's true when it isn't. Uh, there's a buzzer, a new problem showed up, and I got this text saying click this button to see errors made on the level. This is a button it's talking about, and you can see, let me go ahead and make, I'm just going to go ahead and click a couple, just randomly, so I made three errors. I can go ahead and see what they were. So, the problem was three times one is equal zero, and I had the true button selected. The second problem, the true button selected, and 7 times 4 uh, is equal to 28, not 26, so that, that makes sense. And then 6 times 4 is 24, not 25, so you can see uh, you, the mistakes you made on each level. Let me go ahead and go back. I'll go ahead and say false. Let's, 3 times 0 is 0, so that should be an error. And I can go back and take a look at it. and. 3 times 0 is 0, but I chose false, so that's another error. If you make 5 errors, you can always go back to the main menu here. If you make um, 
five errors, then the game is over. You'll see that you have no more lives left. You can retry, go to the main menu, or you can see the, the last error you made along with all the others. Let's go ahead and uh, go to the main menu. Let's, and, oh, I'm sorry, I should have told you. You can hit the X button to toggle back and forth between seeing your errors and your score. The advanced level, problem's a little bit more difficult, and then you have the time counting down there. So that's how you play the game. We have quite a bit, uh, quite a few more uh, versions coming out, including uh, integers, fractions, decimals, uh, some algebra, and quadratic equations version coming out. So we're going to have lots more versions coming out, but if uh, you have a particular version you'd like to see, send us, drop us an email uh, at mathnook and at info uh, info at mathnook.com and let us know what kind of version we'll see and we'll see what we can do. Um, I hope this has helped you some. Um, hope you have fun playing the game and thanks for watching.